What's up guys, this is Trashe. Thanks for watching. And this video I call the best Clash of Clans gameplay strategy. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because I've actually had a few people ask me that how come they see my storages are always full and I have so much resources most of the time. So what I want to talk about is actually how I play the game and that covers two or three things. It covers an upgrade strategy and also using your shield in order to help you save resources um, and not have to uh, not being consumed by the game so much that you uh, play it too much as you know I'm married and I do have to spend time with my wife and she doesn't actually like this game so I have to really manage my time playing the game and so what I want to share with you is exactly how I do that now as you can see I've got a farming base with my town hall on the outside and what that does is as soon as I log off I usually get uh, my town hall gets taken out quite quickly and sometimes people go for all my resources and other times they only take my town hall so what I want to talk to you quickly about is just how I manage farming and um, making resources and also using the shield and this upgrade strategy in order to always have enough resources to do my upgrades but also um, manage my time so I don't have to play the game the whole day in order to keep my storages full so first things first as you can see I've got five boulders and three of them busy on Tesla's the other one is doing this top barracks going to level 10 and then I've got uh, air defense going to level 6 now um, what I my strategy is in the evenings before I go to bed I usually um, raid a little bit or I break my shield and then what I do is I'm try and make more resources before I log off than what can be stolen from me for let me quickly show you for example um, about 13 hours ago that is the last time I've had a shield up to about an hour ago or two hours ago and then I raided a little bit boosted my barracks and farmed a little bit but let me quickly show you the cap at town hall 8 that people can steal from you is 300,000 if you have full resources or if you have anything more than I think 2.9 million in storages they can only raid or they can only take 300,000 um, so what that means is if you make more than 300,000 before you log off um, if people attack you you'll still have more resources than what you had before you logged off um, in other words I always try and make at least 500,000 of each before I log off because if someone raids me they can only take 300,000 so that is sort of knowing what the cap of your town hall level is it helps you to make sure that when you log off you won't lose resources so that's the first thing in the evenings I usually break my shield I play if I can I play for like an half an hour to maybe an hour make some resources and then when I go to bed usually someone takes my town hall I have 12 hours so let's say I log off at like 10 o'clock or something until the next morning 10 o'clock I will have a shield so I don't have to raid until then um, okay so that is my gameplay strategy for using my town hall and using my shield that means you know if you if you go on just before your shield runs out every 12 hours and you quickly um, let's say at the moment what I do I've just finished I had my barracks boosted as you can see it says they boost all for two hours for only three gems this is now with the new special I had my spell factory boosted and I had my barbarian king boosted so in the last two hours I went for dark elixir and as you can see 400 580 1400 a um, thousand six hundred that was now in the last two hours and I also made a lot of normal resources gold and elixir 280,000 240,000 120,000 um, I was mostly going for dark elixir but so every now and then if you do have like 20 or 30 gems boost your barracks and um, just before you log off and make some resources so that when they attack you when you're offline you actually have more than what you had now the other reason why I have so much is because for the last four days I haven't had a free builder uh, because I did my hidden Teslas and my air defenses I mean the air defense takes eight days to upgrade as you can see there so that one 
it's been almost upgrading for three and a half days okay these ones take 10 days to upgrade so they've been upgrading for the last that's nine days so for nine days now i haven't had a bowl that boulder for almost eight days i haven't had that one four and a half days i haven't had that boulder so this one here takes takes six days to upgrade to level 10 so so the last literally the last four to five days i haven't had a boulder that's what also why my resources are so high um, the reason why I've got so much Dark Elixir is because, like I say, I've been farming for Dark Elixir every now and then when I, when my shield runs out and I quickly, you know, have time, an hour or two, um, before I log off, I quickly try and make some resource. That way, when they take me, I have more resources left than I had before. Um, at the moment, I'm farming at about between 1500 trophies and 1700. That is where I make most of my resources and my Dark Elixir. Uh, I had some people ask me exactly in which range I farm most of the time. So that is usually between gold 2 and 3. That is where I stick around and get all my resources. So yeah guys, that is sort of the strategy I wanted to talk about. Um, like I say, it's about gameplay optimization. And in that way, if you have an upgrade strategy and you use your shield and don't break it, you know, once you have it for 12 hours, and when they it does, when it does run out, you if you can, you know, play for an hour, um, farm a little bit, and then make more than what can be taken from you. That way, usually, I build up resources quite quickly. Um, so yeah, that is, and also that way you don't have to play the game the whole day. Um, seeing like like I said, I do want to spend time doing other things, and I don't want to, um, you know, only play this game the whole day because that'll be really sad. So yeah, I enjoy playing the game, but I also try and only play like in the evenings or in the morning or, you know, before before the day starts. That way, you manage your time and also you keep your resources full so that you can upgrade and do your um, upgrades whenever you want and as you can. So yeah, guys, that is the video. If you guys find it helpful, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a bit long, but um, let me know what you think and I'll bring another, I'll make another few videos in the next few days. Thanks for watching. Cheers.